This is the lockpicking lawyer, and I am out at the range with Bosnian Bill, and we are about to start a new video series. An exciting new series. I've been looking forward to this one, eh? Yep, you're gonna see cooking with Bosnian Bill and lockpicking lawyer, yes, right? Yes, we are. You ready to go? Let's let's move over to the stove. Yep. <laughs> now <laughs> let's uh, let's shoot some locks first. Okay, let's do that. I'm guessing that you guys figured this out already. We have a lot of locks lined up. And a fair number of you have been asking what it takes to open some of these locks ballistically. And that's what we're going to explore today. I it, know it works in the movies. It sure does. And I know, Bill, you explored this before on your channel, but we've got a lot more locks and we've got some heavy duty locks. And today. we've got some very specific questions from viewers as well. Mm -hmm. But we're going to divide this up into seven different episodes. And so we have seven different categories or classes of locks. That's right. We're going to alternate back and forth between our channels. So if you are not already subscribed to Bosnia and Bill, there will be a link in the description below. I encourage you to follow that, subscribe. So when more of these lock shooting videos pop up over there, you will get notice. Yeah, don't miss any of them, guys. I so, think uh, you're going to have as much fun as we are. Let's talk about what we're going to do, the methodology. Okay. We will start with the lowest caliber that we think will have an effect on the lock. Okay, since we're starting with master lock today, let's use this as an example. So the, we're not going to hit that with a 22. No, it's probably I tried, not going to. I do tried anything. that three or four years ago. It was a waste of your time. Mm -hmm. So, so what's we'll the next power level up? We'll start with a nine millimeter, I think. Okay. If that doesn't work, we can go to 45. Yeah. And if we don't have any effect with that, we have a couple of rifles there. Yes, we do. We got a 223 uh, in the AR platform that you see right there. If that does not work, directly behind it is a 308 or 7.62 by 51 NATO. I have ball ammunition, and I also, located right over there, I've got some hand-loaded uh, armor-piercing ammunition. So. That ought to make this fun. And I'll tell you, when we get to the very end, we may actually need it. This is a Squire. SS80CS, five pounds of hardened steel, and I'm not sure we have enough firepower to destroy this one. We're going to need a lot of armor piercing probably to get through that, but it's going to be fun to find out. You better believe it. So why don't we go down range, show them the rig that's going to be holding the lock, and then we'll attach the then locks we, and we get start shooting. shooting. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Tell me about this jig since you put this thing together at like two o'clock in the morning. Well. <laughs> I almost needed nothing from Home Depot. That shows you how cluttered my garage is <laughs> right now. But the idea is, was to make something that wouldn't self-destruct as we are shooting the locks. So the idea is we put it down pretty low. When the bullets hit it, hopefully it will expend the energy just by rotating that lock and it won't destroy this beautifully made jig.
All right, man, look at this thing. We have... Does that count as open? Let's see. That's we, pretty close. We get the chain off. Ah, that's hot. Move your hand and show, man, great penetration. That 308 was blowing huge chunks out of the top of it, and we have eaten away all the metal around that shackle, I and we still don't have an open. No, I don't think that counts as an open. I think this thing, at least this particular model, what is it, a 930? M930, yep. Uh, truly is tough under fire, proven by lockpicking lawyer and the lock lab. Now that Man. we've proven that, you want to hit it with a couple more? Let's, yeah, let's hit it with a couple more just for fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like bringing my grinder out to take this okay, off. Okay, I'll blow it off. <laughs> let's get an armor piercing on it. Oh man, <laughs> Master Lock, you guys have this physical toughness thing down. <laughs> if that were not so easy to pick, I'd put this on everything I own. I still don't think we can quite. All right, can I'm going to call this a success in terms of toughness to fire. That's awesome. Man, what a job that was. I think Master Lock performed well. I, I, well, with the exception of one of them. Let's go over them real quick, but I am, I am more than a little bit impressed with the physical toughness of these locks. Sure, this is the new Master Lock number three, which they advertise as now even stronger. It's got the ball bearing locking mechanism on it. And this one took five nine millimeter rounds, and what was it, two or three, two or three 45? 45s, yeah. Something like that before it came off. And yeah. that's for, that's not designed to be high security. I'd say, my goodness, from a physical perspective, yeah, that's that, high security. That's that handled very, itself very well. It really did. Uh, this one, not so much. This one is, I think, just a, intended to act as a safety lockout lock. Yeah, um, I would think so. It's so. really not a high security lock, but one round of nine millimeter and it went flying 30 and yards. Both, you can still see the shackles busted off in there. We could not find the shackle. We searched the range, nothing. But you can still see one of the ball bearings eh, right about there. I think we can get a little sun shining on it. Yeah. But not so tough. But this was the star of the show today. This one, my God, what? A lock. So the Physical 45 chip. just bounced off it. That yeah. is a 45 impact. I don't know if you can see it. It's barely a scratch we on the surface. Scrape the paint. Scrape yeah. the paint. <laughs> and then six 223s punched a hole right through the heart of this thing. Five of them, yep. Was you it could five? see daylight through it. And yeah, and there was daylight through the darn thing. But it was still locked tight. Absolutely no sign of giving. And then we took the 308 and didn't want to shoot through an empty hole, so tried to spray it around the edges managed to blow this shackle loose, this side of it, and then went to work on that side, but despite uh, what was a total of six rounds from a 308, yep. we had to beat that thing off there with a hammer. Yep, yep, that held up surprisingly well. Actually, well, not surprisingly well. It's a beefy lock. It is it's a very built beefy. well, it's solid steel, hardened. Yep. Um, it performs the way a lock should. Yep. So good well, on master lock there. All right, well, we got all a bunch of pieces to show for our effort, but I think we learned a lot today. We did, and folks, if you want to see the next video in the series, you're going to have to go over to Bosnian Bill's channel. There's a link in the description. Go subscribe there. It'll be posted in the next couple of days. We're going to be looking at these Avis locks, and I'm expecting this one to do pretty well. I was just looking at it. That's solid heavy steel, property in New York. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This ought to be fun. All right, and if guys. you are coming to the series late, look in the description, the entire series. There will be links to all of the videos below, so if you just want to blow right through them, go to the description, check it out. But that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe to me and Bosnian Bill. And as always, have a nice day. Thanks, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal.